welcome to our dual boot video of OSX and Windows. Um, right now, first we are going to log in as a managed mobile account. Um, all of our users are managed mobile accounts on all their MacBooks. And none of these, none of these users have admin rights. Um, Now, once logged in, uh, every user has an application on their dock called self-service, which is part of the uh, Jamf software suite. And launching self-service will give you a set of policies that the users can execute um, through user interaction, and you can see a Windows XP policy there. This policy will bless the bootcamp partition for a one-time boot, and then force the client machine to reboot immediately. So right after the forced reboot, it will force itself for the next boot only into the Windows partition. How we manage the users on the Windows side is that we have an object policy in our Novell E directory, which is assigned by uh, machines um, that have the bootcamp executable on them. So it only gets applied to the actual Mac clients running Windows and no other Windows client on the network. And now we will log in as a student again on the Windows side. And uh, on this particular um, policy, uh, they do have to run local admin users in Windows. So they'll log in with their managed network account and they'll authenticate to local administrator. Now once they log in, you'll see that we have Zenworks running. Zen will pop up here and it will push out the only application we needed our users to run in Windows and once that um, runs uh, a script executes right after it that monitors the process now once this application is is quit or terminated in any possible way the auto IT script we have on the Windows side will run automatically and it will configure the bootcamp manager in Windows to force a reboot back into OS X And now you can see that we have gone full circle and we are booting back into OSX and the user is back where they started and they accomplished this without having admin rights and the machine still being completely managed. 